Hi, my name is Amanda Uten from Shamnad Julian Catholic High School. And for my Google certification video, I'm going to show you how to insert a table of contents into your homepage on Google Sites. So here is my homepage for my classes. And on my first page, I have a description of each one of the four courses that I teach. But you kind of have to scroll down to get to the bottom. So I want to insert a table of contents right here so that visitors to my site will be able to quickly navigate to the course that they want to further look into. So I'm going to go up here to my pencil and click the edit button. And the first thing that I have to do is to my headings, I have to apply a formatting. So I'm going to highlight my first heading, which is beginning of the year, go up to format and insert a heading. So you've got heading two, subheading, minor heading. I'm simply going to use one type of heading, but if you have different categories or levels that you want in your table of contents, you would want to select the, the one that you want. So apply a heading there, apply a heading to my next one, and I've already applied a heading to my other ones down there as well. So now I can go into this area here where I want my table of contents, go to insert and table of contents. Now it's going to ask me how big I want it. I would like it to fill the available space, so I'm going to leave it blank, and then I'm going to click save. Now you're not going to see your table of contents until you click save. And now I have my table of contents to show everything that's on the whole page. And if they want to go to the bottom and read about environmental science, they can simply click there and read about environmental science. Now the really cool thing is the same concept applies to your Google Docs. So over here I have a document of learning objectives by unit. So I'm going to quickly apply a heading to that first unit, I'm going to apply heading one to my second unit, and to my first subtopic of unit two, I'm going to apply a heading two. Then I can come up here at the top of my document, again go to insert and table of contents, and I have my table of contents. Very nice feature to use in Google Apps.